So pretty much just only a day after getting this of testing it out, I would say I'm pretty confident with working at this. So I'll show you just a quick how quickly we can get it out of the box, get it on the camera and how awesome it is when you're shooting with it. So, so out of the box, here's the main bit, there's the battery, there's the plate. Let's stick the battery on, or well the handle on first. Nice and tight. Good. Next bit, camera. Camera already has uh, the base plate on it, so that's fine. Check its balance. Apply the stabilizer at the top. That seems to be pretty much balanced. Happy with that. Tighten up at the front there. Get that on. Turn the camera power on. Get the battery in. Up it goes. Get a memory card in the camera. Memory card in, camera rocking. Before even turning the power on, checking that it's roughly stable. Yep, it's not falling about all over the place. Now for the magic, at the back, turn the power on, hold it for a second. Give it a wee while, look, it's slowly moving, it's stabilizing, it's sensing what's correct and what's not. I'm gonna start recording, recording on, on that. that. I can take my hands off it, it's absolutely fine on the table there. It's in its double uh, in the second setting where it means it doesn't have any tilt but it does have rotation follow. There's been a couple times where it's been a little bit glitchy where it's kind of not worked. All it's taken is just turn it off and get it back on. When I say it's not been working properly it maybe be a little bit fast in rotating left and right so I'd move my hand and it would suddenly jerk around but I think that's maybe just a it's too much power or something at the moment but effectively very smooth footage. I'm um, going on here and I'll show you something if I press it three times three times and then it's got that like blah, 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 telling you that it's totally cool to go this is where I can then go boom like that look at that now that is very cool so that means I can get lovely low down shots and bring it all the way up and if I want I can go from below to above so I can go from here and then up I'm sure there's going to be a little bit of um, practice to make sure that that actually works quite smoothly. Um, but otherwise, I would say that. Ah, okay, that's that's one thing I have learnt is when um, when moving it, got to make sure you don't accidentally press the option button. So uh, I'm going to I'm going to press it three times. One, two, three. Cool. So that should mean that it doesn't move at all. For me to rotate it. Oh, no, I, I screwed up there. I fully admit I screwed up there. So if you do screw up, <laughs> like I did there, uh, you can just effectively force it into the position that you want, hold it for a second, and now it's stabilized in that again. So if I go in, out, in, out, move my hand underneath, nice, nice and stable. If I go what else can I do? I can do up, down, up, down, up. I don't think I can rotate from here. That'd be no. That doesn't work. That's just that's just the handle moving. But yeah, no, it's just whoa, 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 whoa. It can. It's so good. You can go all the way to the front. So that the cam <laughs> the camera is just seeing the front of the thing. So there's different ways of obviously turning the, the gimbal over and the way you want to do it, ah, press the button again, press the button again, one, two, three. The way you want to do it is where you go from the side and you go round and up like that. That way works, as you can see there. Um, if you go, if you try and do it over, oh, ah, there, there's definitely technique that still needs to be learned here. Uh, but for in terms of, if I press it one, once, we get Smooth tilt down, smooth tilt up, 
Nice panning, nice panning. That's cool, yeah. At the moment it's pointing a little bit to the left. So my hand is pointing straight, it's going to be to the left. All I need to do, hold it. Boom. That's in own position. Nice pan tilt down and then pan tilt up. I'll use that as the opening shot right there. And also with the, the button here, I've got pan up, pan down, pan. Oh no! Oh no, the button the button has just come off. Okay, that that needs to be a little bit more carefully used. Uh, now it seems to go the opposite way, so if I press that way, it's going the other way. <laughs> mm. Okay, so it's in reverse. If I press up, it goes up. If I press down, it goes down. If I go that way, it goes the other way. Okay, maybe that was a setting, which I've just screwed up there. Uh, and two, you've got your rotation, but it doesn't have any tilt. So you bring it up and down. It's absolutely fine. Ah, oh, yeah, so yeah, just that ability to be able to go like this, hold on, to go, rotate, and then effectively do running shots, holding it down, so I can go, wow. Nope, that didn't work. <laughs> uh, let's try that again. So from here, how would, I, how would I do that? Okay, running shot forward from here to the camera. No, 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 no. Okay, there's definitely, I'm just gonna stop that recording. There's definitely technique involved in this. It's not a case of, oh, you've got it, you can do anything. If you want to get like extra special cool shots where you're like moving up and over, stuff which you couldn't do with like, maybe like a two-handed gimbal or something, um, there's practice involved. There's definitely practice involved. But otherwise, very, very impressed, very cool. Liking it a lot. Can't wait to use it more. Okay, hope that helps everyone. If you're thinking about getting the Kame Optimus, I would say this is really fucking cool. <laughs>